Yeah, hi. So I'm from India. And uh, the question that I wanted to ask is, for example, just yesterday I was doing week three Postgre SQL and it took me like three or four hours just to set it up properly. And when I told this problem to a senior of mine, what he told me is that you should go for a dockerized environment. You should containerize your app so that you are able to eliminate the first that you have to do to set up environment variables and things like that. So is Docker the way forward and are we going to see it in CS50 course in the future? Good question. Kareem, do you want to take the first part? Yeah, sounds great. Um, so Docker is obviously one of the most popular tools or technologies that have become uh, very useful in the, in the recent years. Um, in fact, pretty much all of our uh, CSFE's web applications are backed by Docker and the CSFE IDE itself is backed by Docker. Um, and it, it definitely, it definitely uh, makes uh, a lot about the process of developing an application or distributing an application easier uh, in that it allows you to uh, what they call containerize your application or sort of package it with all its dependencies and all the versions that you need so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, would it work on this system, would it work on this machine, what's installed here, are there conflicting uh, uh, versions of packages uh, that are maybe required by other applications, all of that stuff goes away. Uh, that, of course, in addition to what your friend alluded to, um, the uh, Docker Hub or the repository registry of Docker images that exist online uh, from which you can pull any number of uh, like sort of pre-made Docker images for you. Uh, among them is obviously Postgres, MySQL, um, uh, different Python versions, uh, different versions of other tools and packages. Uh, I, I personally use that and I think it's definitely worth it to uh, learn more about Docker and start using it. Uh, I think Brian in his web class, uh, if I recall correctly, had uh, one of the lectures that introduced maybe Docker and Docker Compose. Uh, is that, we did, is that yeah, true, Brian? We did. We showed Docker. Sorry, Brian? Okay. Yes, we do introduce a little bit of Docker and Docker Compose in the web programming class. Yeah, so I would definitely take a look at that uh, for a start. Uh, Docker also, like, I, I think the documentation. Uh, the official documentation is great, and I'm sure there's there's a numerous number of online tutorials uh, that you can uh, look at and sort of uh, get a sense of how Docker works or how to get started uh, using it. Indeed, and Anmo, if you'd like to make it easier to get started, I've just pasted into the chat window a tool that we use here in CS50's team called CLI50 for Command Line Interface 50. This essentially gives you what's called a headless environment, so no GUI. It's just the black and white terminal window that connects to your own Mac or PC so that you can run tools like you're trying to on your own Mac or PC without setting everything up manually yourself, like SQLite. Um, and this is actually a subset of what CS50 IDE is. So Kareem has built a Docker image on top of this command line interface image that adds more GUI features and other IDE-specific software. So as Kareem notes, we use Docker for everything. Um, whether it makes it into CS50, I think itself will depend on just how user friendly it gets. I think the reality is that Docker is pretty easy to get up and running on Macs, at least newer Macs nowadays. It's a little more of a headache on certain PCs. And so that's not ideal, I think, for some students to set up their own machines if they run into technical support difficulties at the beginning of the class. But it's on our radar. And I would hope to uh, answer one of our earlier questions too at the same time that this is one of the kinds of technologies that will get better and better over time and make it even easier for students to uh, use on their own machine. 